Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm I don't know how this video is going to go. I'll be real honest with you. I am not happy right now. So, we going to get a salty Spartan after action commentary because I got some things to say. Now, before we get started, all right? Just just throwing this out there. I want to make sure that everyone knows I am not out to name and shame anybody, okay? That's not what this video is about, all right? It's the premise, okay? The thought of what happened during the match that could have ended differently had people been smarter, okay? That, that's what it's about. It's not about the individual player. It's about learning experience that uh, you guys will hopefully be able to look at and be like, okay, well, next time I find myself in a situation like this, I won't do that because I've already seen what happens if I just do that. All right, we'll get there. Trust me, there's a lot of things that I don't, I'm going to talk about during this whole thing. Okay, first of all, uh, welcome. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I apologize. This is not going to be your normal replay, okay? I am not happy. <laughs> this is the result of me battling my backside off and getting f***ed over by the same stupid all the time. <laughs> so, <sighs> blood pressure, relax, calm down. Bring it back. Come on. You can do this. Cohesive commentary. First of all, problem number one. Four god dang destroyers per team. Wargaming. Fucking fix this! God, I hate it. The destroyer players in this game are the worst. The only people worse than destroyer players are carrier players, on average. Okay? I know there's a lot of there's a lot of other people that are out there a lot worse too. I'm just saying, as a battleship man, there's nothing more infuriating than spawning into a match with four god dang destroyers per team, and every skin one of them are absolute imbeciles. Every one of them, not a single person in a destroyer knows what the f they're supposed to do at a given moment. Now I'm not gonna lie here. I probably should have used my reload booster here. I had a broadside Marlboro, but I wasn't sure what my accuracy was gonna be, and uh, turns out it was actually decent. It was mostly horizontal, so we ended up slapping the Marlboro for 22k. And by the time I do decide to use the reload booster, he starts turning in, and that completely screws me um, on potential for getting rid of him early. Right? Now the downside is because I have no spotting in the middle of the map. Uh, th they're sitting right here in front of me, spotting me, and now I'm gonna have the Kansas's attention, the Marlboro's attention, the guys that spawned across from me's attention, and the fact that there's a couple of destroyers on my left. Now, what I want you guys to do is pay attention to what's going on in the map, right? Now, here, obviously, I'm not gonna be able to outrun these torpedoes. I'm trying. I knew they were coming, right? Like, I've been spotted a while. Um, so, it's unfortunate, but we take 13,000 damage from a single torpedo, but we've lost a lot of hit points because of that initial, uh, salvo. Uh, we are gonna get a little bit of revenge here as we shoot back at the Kansas, but, uh, unfortunately, right as our, our stuff goes on cooldown, uh, Marlboro gets another shot in, and lo and behold, shocker, right? Fire. But we did Citadel the Kansas, so, again, I'll take that trade helping to, to get those crossfires across the map, help that right side, because God knows no one else is going to do it. I, I, I'm pointing at you, battleship captains. You you guys ain't escaping without a little bit of frustration too, all right? Now watch this Friesland. This Friesland pulls up in front of everybody on my side, right? I shoot him, I take three hits on him and leave him with, you know, enough to get away for now. Now, Georgia looks like he's about to come in. I'm already slowing down. I wanted to potentially get to a spot where I could shoot through around this like little keyhole island here to potentially slap the sh out of this Georgia, but unfortunately, not gonna happen. So what I do instead, because I am sonared, right? I'm spotted, there's nothing I can do here. I'm spotted between the, the, the guy on my right and the, the destroyer. So we go ahead, we blind fire, and we hit him with four shells, okay? Again, what is the people doing behind me? Look at this destroyer. What is this? What is your plan? You are Hydro. What are you doing with your life? What does he do? Pulls out, goes broadside, dies immediately, does absolutely nothing but set a smoke screen that is completely meaningless. Now there, we end up hitting the Friesland again. And once again, I mean, guy can't have that much health left, right? He can't. Okay. We're still spotted. 
we keep we keep firing our guns because we're still inside the sonar detection range of that Friesland. Like, if, if I wasn't shooting at him, I'd still be spotted. But he finally gets spotted, and we're going to go ahead and finish him off. But of course, we're double fired for the next minute and a half, and it does not matter. Because I have fight fire with fire, it does not matter how quickly they get those two fires, because they will never set the third. It's, it's, it's infuriating. Why is it that no one ever sets the third fire? I swear to God, I look at somebody who's got a fire on them and I'll set a third fire on them, right? Like, I guarantee it. But when it's me, ain't no matter how many times I get hit with HE, no matter where the HE hits me, like, it can never set the third fire that triggers my fight fire with fire. It is infuriating, right? So finally, our destroyer on the left side of the map decides that he could be useful, so he charges the guy that's sitting in a smoke screen firing his guns. Could have been useful to just, you know, use some of his fucking torpedoes at some point to be useful. But no, he takes all day to finally do something. But he finally moves forward, right? So now, God forbid he actually does something useful, right? Finally. And there's two battleships around the corner. I only had to lose all my hit points to get him to do something, but he finally decided to. You know, just let two DPM destroyers sit in their smoke screens for five minutes and burn your battleships down. Then decide to come out when you're the only one left. That makes perfect sense. Can you can you see where I'm going with this? Again, not hating the players, just pointing out the stupidity that goes on in every single match that I see over and over and over again. I don't understand it. Right? It doesn't I it does not compute for me. But pay attention to what's going on around us, right? Pay attention to the mini-map. This is the stuff that I talk about all the time. I'm using my last heal. That's all I got, right? So I have to take and use every hit point that I have left sparingly. Now here you're going to see me get caught up on this stupid fucking island for whatever reason. I get stuck in a bug where you get glued to the island and it's obnoxious. So you have to go forward and go backwards a couple of times to finally get the game to say, Oh yeah, you're, you're not stuck. It's obnoxious because it takes time and I don't have time. I need to be able to maneuver my ship. So as we finally break ourselves free of this freaking island, you will have noticed that four out of the eight destroyers are already dead. Shocker. And surprisingly, it took that long. And it only took that long because our freaking destroyer that was on this side decided he wanted to take all day to decide what he wanted to do with his life. Just sitting there on the island. He wasn't launching torpedoes. He's just sitting there the whole time. Just sitting there. Wasn't fired his guns. He's just sitting there. He used the smoke once he charged the, the USS Black. So he didn't he didn't sit there firing his guns in smoke or nothing. He just sat there. But I digress. Paying attention to what's going on, you can see our team is throwing, right? Our team had a potential and they threw it all away. Why? What did they do? Because all they know how to do is sail around broadside. Look at the dead people on my team and look at their position relative to the enemy ships. Do you see how they're all broadside? Do you understand why that's a bad idea? I know you guys do, right? You guys understand because you guys are actually on YouTube. You're paying attention. You're playing the game. You're trying to get better. These are the things that I talk about all the time, right? It drives me bonkers. Like how these people can get to this tier and not understand basic crap. Now, I'm in a crossfire. I'm not in potential to be spotted at the moment, so being broadside to the Iowa is not really that big a deal. Plus, putting my bow towards the direction of the enemy ship also gives me a chance as an escape route or potentially staying angled. Now, here I get a shot at the Iowa, and I'm going to go ahead and use my last reload booster so that I can potentially get rid of this Marlboro because we want to get rid of him, right? We know if we catch him coming around the corner, we're going to be able to kill him. He's going to get us spotted. It's not that big a deal because by the time he turns those slow-ass turrets, he's done. Ain't nothing he can do about it. Bonk. Be gone. All right. So now that he's gone, I'm still spotted. We've got uh, the Mar Marco Polo trying to push me from the middle. And his pal, the, uh, the, 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 the Georgia, no one knows where he's at. Because my destroyer, once again, putting himself in a position where he can be absolutely useless. Not to mention the destroyer that went through the middle that decided to yellow in and die uh, when he had the perfect crossfire for cross torps with the Merriker that spawned on my left that they could have pinched those guys in a heck of a meat shield, right? And they did land some torpedoes, but they got themselves killed in the process. How do you manage to get yourself killed when the only thing that you have to shoot at you or even detect you is a battleship? 
You're on a destroyer. This is destroyer 101. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I was not expecting the Georgia to charge me down. So he catches me off guard. Nothing I can do about it. He's gonna slap me, so we're gonna get turned in as best we can. We mitigate most of the damage, but he gets a couple of penetrations and takes us down to about 8,000. Now, I've already pre-turned my turrets, so I wanna lock them in place as we get ready for the drive-by. And then, of course, we unlock the turrets a little bit too soon. Couldn't get the, the freaking full salvo to fire. And then the game is just like, yep, yeah, you, you can't actually fire that turret now. Because, you know, reasons. So now he gets around the corner. I'm trying to get the gun on target. Can't get the gun to actually target him at all. And, uh, of course, he's going to get loaded. That allows him to, to hit me again, which leaves me with very little health. And then we're able to hit the Georgia and almost take him out. But, of course, leave him with just enough for the guy behind me to finally do something useful again. And that leaves me with just 1,700 hit points. That was a cluster. Okay? It's unfortunate, but it happens. We're alive. Can't harp on it, right? We have 1,700 hit points. Now, I need intelligence data. It's the only chance that we have of winning this match. The only one. I have an island that I can utilize. Here, take this tip, battleship captains. I know it's a crazy concept. I know. But you're allowed to use island cover, too. I know it's crazy. You guys think that it's only for cruisers. No. Battleships can do it, too. And I'm going to show you just how effective it can be. Okay? 1,700 hit points. We have 121,000 damage. Pay attention to what we do in the next couple of minutes. And then I'm going to showcase just the pure and utter insanity that is this teammate that has been driving me crazy this entire time, right? <laughs> Don't worry, it gets better. <laughs> Trust me, it gets better. And again, not hating the player, just pointing out the mistakes that you guys can learn from and hopefully not make the same ones moving forward. Now, at this point, you're probably anticipating that this is a loss, and you may or may not be right. But, but, watch what I do. Just backing up, using the edge of the island. I have, I don't have the best shell arcs in the world, right? These are high velocity guns. They have a relatively flat trajectory. I also know how I get spotted, which is by my superstructure. So I'm trying to make sure that my superstructure remains behind the island. If I back up too far and fire my guns, guess what? I'm gonna get detected, right? So we want to stop going in reverse. We want to get going forward a little bit. Wait for our destroyer. The Marco Polo's in a smoke. He ain't going to be able to be there forever, right? The smoke will eventually dissipate. I was on his way, and none of these guys are ready for what's about to happen. So Marco Polo gets spotted. I've got a shot. Now look at what this Merriker does. He immediately goes for torpedoes. He is... what? Let's just assume this dude is 10 kilometers away from the Iowa that's coming towards him, right? He beaches himself on the island and is just sitting there. This is his grand plan, his grand master plan. Now, we've already reset the uh, Marco Polo, so now the person that has the cap points is the Iowa. Iowa was giving us a favorable angle, so we slapped the shit out of him, right? We're up to 140,000 damage. Notice how I'm not getting spotted. Why is that? Because my superstructure is behind the island, I'm lobbing the island and, and doing damage, right? So. They cannot, they do not have line of sight on the top of my superstructure, which is the point at which I get spotted. And that's when the dingus strikes again. And that is, he just sits there and sits there and sits there and sits there, which is fine. He's at least spotting them, but it's a stupid idea because now he starts firing his guns while sitting still and then smokes up. Well, they saw him and he takes a hit. Shocker. There goes half his hit points. Why is he smoking up? Anybody. Why is he sitting still? If he would just get out and start running and then fire his guns, he could be agile and it would be very difficult for those battleships to kill him. And I take down the Iowa. But worse than that, because he's sitting in a smoke screen and because he's just sitting there broadside, lo and behold, torpedoes arrive. Who could have seen that coming? Shocker. Unbelievable, folks. And because of that, this this is GG. There's nothing I can do about this. Destroyer rolls up. He's got me spotted. I've, I've got 1,700 hit points. He hits me with a few HE shells and it's over. <sighs> it is absolutely mind-boggling how these people get to higher tiers. Like, it, it just, I don't understand it. I don't. 
because they make the same stupid mistakes over and over again. And look, top of the leaderboard. Oh, look how amazing he was. You're going to see me send him a message. And the message in embodies my, my frustration. Is it a hate mail? Is it? You guys decide. Is it hate mail? No, of course not. I don't send hate mail. But I just let, let people know you had one job. <laughs> You had one job, brother. That's all you had to do. You had one job. I did everything in my power to give us the, the win there. And unfortunately, it just was not enough. Never underestimate the power of your teammates to throw a game. Because they will do it every single time. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Little bits of a salty Spartan after action commentary. But uh, I hope it was at least entertaining and hopefully educational. So if you find yourself in a situation like that, especially if you're in the destroyer shoes, stop stopping and then like sitting there. Like use your mobility. It's what it's for. You have the ability. You're a small target. You're agile. You, you have the ability to just run around and cause a ruckus. And the America is a fantastic destroyer for what I've heard from everybody. So just stopping, beaching, trying to torpedo things from maximum range, and then firing your guns while stopped, and then sitting in your smoke screen firing your guns over and over again, it's just stupid. Don't do it. It ends poorly. And you get torpedoed because torpedo or smoke screens are torpedo magnets. Everybody knows this. Jingle's been saying that for 20 years. Game hasn't been out 20 years, Spartan. Shh. <laughs> but anyway. Again, appreciate you guys hanging out with me. If you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.